Well, good morning, everyone, or maybe good afternoon or evening, depending where you're joining us from. Welcome back here to the Launchpad and our continuous coverage of the Artemis 1 wet dress rehearsal. NASA is at it again, going for a third attempt to complete a wet dress rehearsal, but this time a modified wet dress rehearsal. We did see teams called to their stations two days ago to prepare for today's wet dress rehearsal. And over the next hour, uh, the built-in countdown will enter a one hour and, 50, uh, one hour and 30 minute hold. Uh, and that will begin at L minus 8 hours 40 minutes. So five minutes ago, the T minus clock entered a hold. Uh, the launch director and mission management teams are now in briefings for weather and tanking operations. And in about one hour from now, we are expecting to get an update on from the launch director and mission management team chairs uh, for a go, no-go to begin tanking operations. And if we do get that, we expect those to begin at L-7 hours, 20 minutes. Uh, but we are expecting that to countdown to proceed. Last update from NASA was that the weather is uh, looking good for today. And the weather over the last couple of days have been uh, really great down there. So they haven't had any major concerns they've been having to address leading up to today's wet dress rehearsal attempt. Now you heard me a moment ago say modified wet dress rehearsal due to a issue with a valve on the uh, kind of middle of the rocket area. They will not be able to do fueling operations into the second stage of the SLS rocket, meaning they will not be able to complete a full fueling and wet dress rehearsal of the entire rocket, but they will go through the chill down portion uh, and they will go all the way to the point where they start pumping fuel into that second stage. Uh, it's still unclear if they will fully fuel the core stage or just half fuel it again like last time and we're waiting for some of those confirmations from NASA. But we're going to be live over the next uh, eight and a half hours bringing full coverage of today's wet dress rehearsal attempt uh, and we'll bring you updates as we get them from NASA over the, uh, the next eight hours. Hopefully hearing our first major update from them on the current weather conditions in the next 30 minutes from now. We did just get confirmation from them that all elements were powered up overnight. Teams are in final preparations for propellant loading. Uh, and the mission management teams, as we said, uh, are reviewing the status, are receiving their weather briefing, and are going to make a go, no go to proceed with taking operations here shortly. But uh, confirmation from NASA, they are still proceeding on that timeline. If you guys have questions, you can send those in the chat at any point during today's broadcast. We'll be answering those live throughout the day. Just make sure you tag us at the launch pad and we'll be answering those. If you haven't yet, take a moment, hit that like button. It really does help us out. Head on over to our shop, check it out. You can pick up your SLS gear today and have it in time for the launch of Artemis 1. Great way to help support what we do. And if you haven't yet, consider joining us over on Discord and following us on Twitter as we will be live tweeting updates throughout today's broadcast as well. But this is Zach from the TLP Network Studio. Stay with us as we bring you updates on today's Artemis 1 wet dress rehearsal.